Hey guys, we're going to look at what's called graphical solutions today. This is one of the weirdest things in all of algebra to me. I don't know how it works, but somehow it does. But let's go back very quickly. Um, this graphical way is the third way we can use to solve equations. This is a system of equations, which can be, you know, two or three, or have two variables or three variables, whatever. We've just done basically mostly two here so far. And you know how to graph that. You know how to graph that. Usually, if you see a system, they'll say, solve this by elimination or solve by substitution or whatever, which is what we're used to doing. And uh, we can do that. But let's look at this. Let's take these actual same two equations and go ahead and pause it and get, get yourself a piece of graph paper because we're going to graph both of these. So go ahead and pause it, graph both of those, and uh, we'll come back, to, back when you're done. Okay, if you have your graph paper, let's take a look at this one first. Y equals X plus 1. So we know that the that 1 means that the y-intercept is here. The slope is assumed to be a 1 in front of the x, which you can write as a fraction. Um, 1 over 1, 2 over 2, 3 over 3, whatever. Those are all fractions that equal 1. So I'll just do 1 over 1. So 1 up and 1 over. And we know it's going to the right like this because it is a positive 1. So there is your line. It looks like that. Okay. The second equation is this one, and where we're going to say that... You know, if you wanted to do a babysitting example, of course, that's, you get $4 to show up. And it's a terrible situation because every kid that shows up, you get negative $2. So no point in doing that. Anyway, the negative 2 shows us that it's going down, of course. All right, so positive 4 is the y-intercept. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's your y-intercept. And the slope is negative 2. We'll just call it negative 2 over 1. And all we need to do is make sure that the lines point down this way. So we go right from that point, we go... I don't know, up to or down to, it doesn't matter. I'll just go up to, up to, and then I will go over to the left one. And then, oops, I can, oops, I can start up to and then over one. And then I'll just go down to and over one. And if you notice, this line goes right here, and you have two lines, and if you look right here at this point right here, these two lines intersect right here, and you tell me, pause it if you need to, but what is this point right here where those two lines intersect? <clears throat> what point is that? The x value is 1, right? And then the y value is 1, 2. So that's the point 1, 2. Now don't forget, a point means an x value and a y value. In other words, what this is telling us is that if we were to use substitution or elimination with these two equations, we would find that the solution is x equals 1 and y equals 2. And somehow, when we graph both of those lines, the actual point in which those two lines intersect also gives us the answer. That is weird. Okay, but it works. And that's the third way to solve equations. All right, so let's try another one. Try another one. All right, go ahead, take another piece of graph paper, or, I don't know, the same one, doesn't matter, and graph <coughs> each one of these lines individually on the same graph and see where they intersect. So pause it and try that. Okay, first one, that's of course a 1x. The y-intercept is negative 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And your slope is 1, so it's positive 1. So up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, oh, and so on. Like that. Okay, so it looks like this. Well, if I'd have connected the lines or the dots better, it would have been better. Okay. All right, the second one, your y-intercept is positive 2, so 1, 2, okay? That's a negative x, so negative 1 over 1. So I'm going to go, oh, you know, down 1 and over 1, down 1 and over 1, down 1 and over 1. Of course, you notice right there, there's the, you know, if you were to draw the line, of course, if I drew the line, oh, I missed again the whole thing. Anyway, that's the point right here where those two lines intersect. And if you notice, let's see the x value is 1, 2, 3, and the y value is negative 1. So we figured out the point is 3, negative 1. Well, again, that's the x and that's the y. And <clears throat> if you were to plug in x and y in both of those equations, it would work for both equations. So let's just try it. So if x is 3, y is negative 1. y, negative 1, equals 3 minus 4. Yep, that works. Okay, so y, negative 1, equals negative 3 plus 2. Well, negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1, so that works as well. So anyway, by graphing it, you can tell that the point that those two lines intersect, that gives you the answer. That's the whole thing. Okay. All right. Here's a weird one. If you do, let's do the first, the bottom one first here. y equals 2. 
Now we know how that works, right? Uh, if we have y equals 2, that just means the entire time the value of the line is at, on, crosses the y-axis at the 2 right there. If y is equal to x, <clears throat> that's the same thing as going, you know, like one of these old equations, except you can just kind of make it a 0. That's a 1x, of course. So the actual uh, y-intercept is at 0 right there. And the slope is 1, so up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. And you can see right there, if we were to draw the line, the intercept is, you know, right here. And the point is 2 over and 2 up, so the point there is 2, 2. Just proof. I mean, if y is 2, well, we already know that y is 2, and so that tells us that. If y is the same thing as x, well, of course the x is going to be 2. But anyway, just a graphical representation that there's your answer to that um, system of equations. Okay. All right. This is a weird one. You go ahead and pause it. Graph both of these on the same piece of graph paper. Go ahead and do that right now. Okay, now, you might have found something really weird. What you should have found is this. The first one, the y-intercept is 2. The slope, of course, is 1, 1 over 1. So we'll go 1, 1, you know, 1, boom, boom, like this, and then, you know, here we go, approximately. All right? The uh, one on the bottom is y is equal to x minus 1. So there's your y-intercept right here. And it's the same slope, right? So 1 over 1, 1 over 1, 1 over 1. And you notice that these... <clears throat> are parallel, if you do draw, draw them correctly. Which means, okay, well, if we, if we did like this and said that, oh, the answer to x and y that solves the system is that point where they intersect, well, then if they don't intersect, that tells you that there is no solution. And there is no number in the entire world where if you take some number and add 2 to it, you'll get the same thing that, as if you took that number and subtracted 1. You think about it. There's no way you can go, oh yeah, y is 5 plus 2, and uh, y is also 5 minus 1. There's nothing that will work in, the, in, the, in any number at all. So, that there is no solution for this. Okay? In fact, let's go ahead and go to this. And uh, You need to, you know, you can just, again, if you're doing this on your, uh, you know, on your notes, going like this, there's your piece of paper, and you write 81 up top, if you run across these kinds of problems in the future, you can just go back to your notes or the book. But there, these are the three types of systems of equations that get graphed. Okay? The first term you should know is consistent. The first kind is consistent, which means it intersects at the answer, like the ones we've done so far. In other words, here's one, and there's one, and, you know, uh, that's, that's going to work. It's going to give you an answer right here at a point. You can say, okay, the answer to this is 2 and 3 gives you an answer, okay? The second type is called inconsistent. There is no answer. That's like the one we just did uh, on the last slide. So there is no number on Earth. You can add the two numbers together and get a 2, and add the two numbers together and get a negative 3. It just won't work. Okay, so there is no solution for that type. Can you think of the third type? If they intersect one point, and they intersect at zero points, what's the other possibility? Okay, They're, it's called dependent. It's just the same line. Okay. And the same line, you're, if you have a, a, a dependent, that just means that this equation and that equation, you've, do, you've done something to one of the equations. You've multiplied it by 2, or you've multiplied it by 10, or you've you know, uh, divided by 5, or whatever. You look at this first equation, if you, that's the same as this equation, just multiplied by 2. 2y, two y. Negative 2x, negative 1x. 4, 2, and so on. So that's the dependent. Okay. So look at your practice problem. Go ahead. Let's try. There's three of them. So pause it and try A and see what you get for the graph. Okay. This will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's your y-intercept. Uh, I'm doing the bottom one first here. <coughs> and the fraction is negative 2 over 1, so we know it's going to be pointing down. So we'll go 1, 2, and then 1 over. Down 2, and 1 over down to and one over and so on so and that is what your answer will look like well I was to hit one of the dots okay the top one and let's see here that's a one of course for the a slope negative one is where you start so put a point there and then just go up from there one over one here one over one there you know and if you're doing these you don't have to keep going and going once you see that it intersects right there you can just stop and go well there's my one good three that's like a strikeout in one try. It won't strike one, strike two, strike... Oh. Okay, that was pathetic. 
Anyway, this is the point. What point is that? It's 1, 2, and then 1. In other words, the x is 2, the y is 1. This is doing it graphing. You could, you could, it's the same thing as doing substitution. You could solve for x and solve for y. There's your answer that worked for both. Okay. All right. Go ahead and pause it and try B. All right. Well, y equals x. That's, again, like a 1x plus a 0. So your y-intercept is 0. Your slope is 1. So 1 over, 1 over, 1 over, 1 over, and so on. Okay, so it looks like that. All right? We know how to draw y equals 4. Well, that's just right here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we go like that over and so on. So there is where the intersection is. 4 over, 4 up, which means, you know, the point is here, which means the answer is x is 4, y is 4. There you go. Pause it and try C and see what you think the answer is for C. Okay, the answer to C is inconsistent. They do not uh, intersect at all. So, okay, those are the three types of lines. All right, give those a whirl, and uh, you'll have a couple of good questions to do in today's uh, problem set. So, all right, see you all next time.